Hi, I'm Jim Costa. I'm a videography, photography, and technology guru, and I created this blog to help you to become a tech savvy senior. Now, my tips and advice are useful to anyone, but my specific focus is in helping seniors to become more familiar with technology so that it can improve and better their lives. Now today I'd like to discuss technology that seniors should learn to use. I've done a previous video on technology senior citizens should adopt and I'll link to that video in the comment section below. So let's jump right into it. With the advent of the internet, we've seen an explosion of technologies that are geared at electronics, automation, and connectivity. Most of these technologies, such as security camera systems, tablets, and smartphones, depend on internet connectivity to fully function. Senior citizens who have access and understanding of technology can reap the rewards of this technology. So let's discuss the different types of senior technology products and how they are being utilized by this age demographic. Number one is tablets and e-readers. These devices, such as iPads, have opened the doors of computer technology for all ages. As a senior who did not learn how to use computers in school when they were young, the invention of the keyboard-free laptop with easy-to-use icons as apps is a life changer. At the same time, a tablet can be used to do anything a computer can, from creating a document to printing out photos with a wireless printer. Seniors are able to play games that stimulate their mind. They can connect in chat rooms and on social media using their tablet. In addition, a tablet bridges the generations. Senior citizens can use the same tablets as their children and grandchildren, which helps these age groups to bond with each other. Using technology, seniors can have an entire library at the tip of their fingers. E-readers, including the Kindle and Nook products, allow seniors the ability to download content to read inexpensively. Most public libraries now provide free ebook rentals, including magazine downloads on e-readers. This allows seniors on a fixed income to learn and stay connected to the world at large without spending any money, or very little, beyond the initial cost of the e-reader, of course. In fact, tablets have e-reader apps available so that seniors can purchase a tablet and use it for computing, online social activity, and reading. Tip number two, cell phones and smartphones. According to a Pew Research Center study, four out of 10 senior citizens had a smartphone in the year 2018. 80% of seniors over 65 own a cell phone of some kind. The largest group of seniors to have a cell phone are those between 65 and 69 years old, whereas 95% have some sort of mobile phone in that same age group. The smallest group is those seniors over 80 with 58% having a cell phone of some type. Having a phone as a senior offers benefits as well as challenges. These mobile devices give seniors the ability to stay connected with loved ones and caregivers. They can talk or text whenever they are feeling lonely or in need of assistance. More importantly, in the event of an emergency, they have a way to make a call no matter where they are, as long as they have access to their phone, of course. At the same time, with updates and changes to cell phone technology, this can be difficult for seniors to keep up with. Often seniors need help from caregivers or cell phone technicians to understand new features on their devices. In addition, seniors may struggle with using certain types of cell phones that do not offer accessibility features. These include increased font sizes, magnification, speech output, and hearing aid compatibility. Seniors may have trouble finding phones that provide such features or understanding how to access these on their devices but talking to a cell phone company that, that sells them will certainly help you. And when you're looking for one, mention that you need these products and their service uh, people there can help you to find what you're looking for. Tip number three, senior citizen apps. Now, along with increased smartphone use is the growing demand for apps. 
These cell phone programs offer an array of benefits for seniors who may need help remembering, keeping track of medication, or finding their parked car, for example. Here are a few recommended apps for senior citizens. Pill Reminder by Medisafe to remind seniors to take their medication while alerting family or caregivers if their meds are not being taken on time. Doctor on Demand connects seniors with board certified psychologists and doctors who offer medical advice via live video calls. Mimi Hearing Test to test your hearing in seconds. Vocalize AI that speaks aloud and tells you everything that is on your cell phone screen. Magnifying glass with light to improve sight for individuals with vis vision loss or age-related macular degeneration. Best of all, these apps are free to download and are available on most devices, regardless if you have a an Apple phone or a Google phone or an Android device or something else. Just so you know, I, again, I'm not sponsored by any of the apps or companies mentioned in this video, but I have used them all, so I know that they do work well. Now, if this is all making sense to you, put Tech Savvy Senior in the comments section below. Tip number four is transportation and technology. Seniors who are unable to drive can benefit from the use of technology and apps for transportation. Two of the most popular and most common of these devices, or services I should say, are Uber and Lyft. The way these transportation services work is you download the app on your smartphone, you enter your destination, and the app alerts you to their drivers who are nearby and available to pick you up and take you where you need to go. Payment is made through the app by using your credit or debit card information. The transportation service is ideal for seniors who want to remain independent and on the go, but may lack the ability to drive for whatever reason. Tip number five, food delivery services. Technology has evolved food delivery service into much more than just pizza delivery these days. There are dozens of food subscription boxes on the market, including HelloFresh, Blue Apron, Plated, Green Chef, Purple Carrot, and more. These food subscriptions provide consumers with boxes of ingredients and recipe cards for a set number of meals each week. Some subscriptions let you choose the recipes while others send you surprise dinners. At the same time, some subscription services are focused on healthy eating, like Green Chef, while others send out recipes that are quick and easy, like a plated. If you love to cook for yourself, but lack the mobility to go to the grocery store to do your shopping, these food delivery services are popular options. Keep in mind that you will pay top dollar for the food, as a single meal for one person averages $12 a plate, but it can be handy. Something else you should know that's recently come up is many large uh, supermarkets these days allow you to go online and order your food but you do have to go to the supermarket to pick up your food which is where a caregiver family member or like an uber will help you if you want tip number six wearable technology for seniors now wearable tech includes fitness tracking watches but all offers a lot more for seniors the most common wearable technology for seniors is a medical alert system. These systems feature necklaces or bracelets that are connected to your home phone or to cell phone lines. And in addition, uh, there are daily activity wearables for seniors uh, that are more like the Fitbit. These devices monitor the wearer's vitals, such as their blood oxygen level or sleep activity. And depending upon the advice, can alert uh, emergency services or your caregivers if, if there's an emergency, say you fell and got hurt. Now tip number seven is assistive technology devices. An assistive technology device, or ATD as it's known, helps seniors feel uh, and be safer in their homes, whether they live in an assisted living facility or in their own home. These senior living aids help individuals perform daily activities such as walking through their home or using the toilet 
with decreased strain if you have mobility issues. Here are some of the most common types of ATDs for seniors. Stair lifts, which you're probably familiar with, power wheelchairs and scooters, hearing aids, Amazon Echo and Google type devices that you use in your home that connect to the internet and give you information if you speak to it, doorbell video cameras, in-house video monitoring systems, Roomba vacuum cleaners, Reminder Rosie, which is a voice control clock, bed and chair fall guard to protect in case someone falls out of their bed or chair, remote controls with supersized numbers, computer screen magnifying devices, and more. Another ADT that is highly needed for seniors with vision loss is lighting. This could be as simple as adding reading, reading lamps to desks and dining tables or standing lamps in hallways and dark areas of your home. Just goes to show that sometimes the simplest of technologies can remain as effective in helping seniors live a healthy life and be safe as well. And just so you know, many of these devices these days are capable, if they're smart devices, to connect to something like your Google Home device and you can ask Google to turn the lights on for you without actually having to connect to the light. There are also smart plugs, which is if you take a regular lamp and this smart plug device plugs into your wall and then you plug your regular light or TV or other device into it and that smart plug allows Google then to control like your older devices that aren't smart devices. Now if you want to see more videos like this, follow my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, for many, many more. If you think what you saw was great, please like it. Do you have an opinion? Comment below. Do you know someone who could benefit from the information that I provided? Share the video. Do you want to learn even more? Then connect with Jim Costa Films on social media and online on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and on my website. I currently have over 4,100 videos on my YouTube channel, Jim Costa Films, so feel free to check out many of my other videos as well. Now, I also have a new Facebook group called Video Producers and Content Creators, so look for that on Facebook to connect there, join the group, and get even more pro technology tips and tricks.